Today's topic, which is from the book Increase Our Financial IQ by Robert Kiyosaki, The Budget Surplus of a Business. There are 12 key takeaways. The first key takeaway is Barron's Finance and Investment Handbook defines budget surplus. It's a, it's a corporation with sur surplus that may expand the business either through investments, acquisition, or it may choose to buy back its own stocks. Second key takeaway is that we have to notice that there are two ways to expand the business. One is through investment. Second is through acquisition. Now, if a corporation spends to expand and it buys another company to expand. So there are two ways. A corporation needs to spend to expand and it buys another company to expand. However, if a business cannot expand through either investment or acquisition, what it does, it, it buys back its own stocks. Now, fifth key takeaway is that this is called stock repurchase. So this stock repurchase may sometimes mean that the company feels it is not able to expand and therefore it opts to buy itself instead. Six key takeaways that if this action sends its stock prices higher, many shareholders will be happy, even though the company is not growing. Because why? Their price value is way higher. But you have to remember that the company is not growing. Seventh key takeaway, whenever Robert hears of a company buying back its own stocks, now Robert thinks that this means different things. It could mean good or it could mean bad. It could mean you have to sell your stocks or it means that you could buy more of the stocks. Now, eighth key takeaway, a stock repurchase may mean that a company stopped growing and the leadership does not know how to grow the business. So therefore, ninth key takeaway, if this is if this is the case, this is not a good sign. And investors, instead of buying more shares, as the stock prices go up, they need to consider that it may be time to sell. Tenth key takeaway, a stock repurchase could also mean that the leadership thinks that the stock price is a bargain versus the asset value. And if this is the case, then investors should be buying more as the stock prices rises. 12 key takeaway. In other words, the budget surplus of a business can mean different things. And it can tell you different things about the business and its leadership. So when you are buying shares of a stock, you really have to study about the business and who the leaders are in the business. So those are my key takeaways from today's topic, the budget surplus of a business. Let us know in the comment section below what you learned. So stay tuned for more of Alka and Ria's show. Ria, that's great. And you know what? Yeah, absolutely. You gotta, you gotta, uh, <clears throat> before investing, into anything you want to you want to learn about the business you want to learn about the leadership who is who is behind that company you know do, do they have a good track record what is it about the company so that you can make a good guess have a, that knowledge okay so if they're reputable then yeah you know invest because I mean I've done that and I'm sure you probably have done that that you know you we invest we put going blindly oh because some may, may be upset but then we don't do our own research behind the leadership or who's behind the company I agree with that that is very true and um, if you compare it to you know investing in an apartment syndication or investing into the stock, it is very easy to open up your own um, account when you invest in stocks. Whereas for um, uh, investing in apartment syndication, you have a lot of paperwork that you actually need to fill up and they have to find out if you're accredited or not. Whereas with buying stocks, 
they don't ask you if you're accredited or not. So we as investors need to know our due diligence. We need to do our mm -hmm. own due diligence about the company because it's very easy to invest in stocks and we could also lose our money very easily. Now, that's where we need, really need to know the leaders and the business. Before that's why I don't really like stocks. I don't really like stocks because whether it's Bitcoin or crypto, I don't like stocks and many people you know, say to me, oh, you know, do you want to invest, you know, come and invest with us, you know, so you got a good return on money. And then I'm thinking, okay, well, yeah, but maybe, but then what is the chances of that? You could have got, it's volatile, stocks are volatile, could, you know, um, so that's not the risk I would want to take. So I, I always say to them, you know what, real estate, I'm just doing real estate, because that is a, uh, it doesn't matter what the economy, hot, neutral, cold market, real estate appreciates stocks. Today, you buy, it could, it could be high. Tomorrow, it could go down. So it fluctuates, very volatile. So I would not do stocks. Me too. I just I come out and say that. Don't try and convince me because I'm not. <laughs> I want to sleep soundly at night. With yeah, stocks. me too. You could be affected by wars. You could be affected by food shortages. You could be affected by, you know, any turmoil in the company. So I'd like to protect my sleep. And with apartments, I'm biased with apartments because I know my capital is protected. Why? Because the building is intact. And you know what? The building is insured. So just in case if there's a typhoon, the insurance will pay us to put a new roof. Or if there's fire, the insurance will pay us to rebuild. Whereas with stocks... I mean, there's probably like insurance there. I'm not really as a, 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 an expert on stocks, but you could lose it easily. You could have an up right now, a win right now, and you could lose it the next day or even just a few hours. So we got to do our own diligence. And I'm not an expert on stocks because I don't play the stocks. It's just number one, I do not have control. You know, I'm not the... The, the leader in the in the stock market you know what you said that point having control and I think when it comes to when it comes to investment I want to be the one to have that control right I want to be in control because I know where am where where have I put the, my money in and where am I going to see that rate on return if I'm not going to see that then I rather not invest in whether it's stocks or real estate so that is what I would, that is what I am doing. I would want to be in control of my, my money. Where am I spending and where do I get returns on? So we want to yeah. do that due diligence too. The other thing that we have to consider too is if we need cash, right? If we need cash, we have to sell our stock. If the market, you know, if your stock price goes up, then great. You have, you've made your money. And in order to get that money, you have to sell it. Now, for apartments, if you need money and you have equity in the property, what we just need to do is we go back to the bank and say, hey, Mr. Banker, either number one, we refinance the property or number two, hey, Mr. Banker, because I have a lot of equity in the property, I'd like to get a line of credit. So without having to sell the property, so you're not taxed as capital gains. Right mm -hmm. or ordinary gains, depending on the term of how long you hold the property or the stock. It could be taxed as ordinary gains if it's short term, or capital gains if it's long term. So with property, if you want to uh, get money from it, you just go back to the bank, and you're not going to be taxed on it. Whereas for the stock, uh, you have to sell it, and you're going to be taxed either ordinary, which mm -hmm. is higher, or capital gains, which is around twenty percent. Now. That's the beauty of investing in apartments. Absolutely. Oh, well, you know what? This was great, Ria. Thank you for sharing. And guys, you know what? I hope you uh, took notes and I hope you got a really good knowledge as to what you need to do today. How are you managing your money? As we talked about many shows ago about having your White House, you are your White House. So just making sure where do you invest your money? And do you sleep at night? Because I know me and Ria, we want to sleep at night. That is what I want. That's what she wants. And I know you do too. So make sure that whatever you invest in, it is going to be the right choice. 